Well, when I was growing up, uh, I went to the Orlando Public Library almost every weekend with my family, and it was a huge part of our lives, a huge part of how I found out about books, and it's still very important to me to go to libraries. I discovered my love of reading in libraries. Um, the books were free. I couldn't get over it. Um, they would give you as many as you wanted as long as you returned them on time, um, and so it was hugely important to me. My high school librarian was really important to me, um, the school librarian at the boarding school that I attended. Um, in addition to being a great librarian, she was also uh, a really wonderful person and a mentor to me and someone who took really good care of me. I take my son to the library a lot. He's two and he loves, loves, loves going to the library. Um, but I also go to the library on my own quite a bit uh, for research, particularly when I was writing my new book. I did a lot of research, um, medical research, about the kinds of cancer that the characters in my novel had. Library budget cuts have been devastating to the health and well-being of communities and it makes me really sad. It's been devastating to see book budgets get cut so much. Um, it's also been devastating to see staff budgets get cut so much because w one of the things that makes the United States the United States is the fact that all people in our country have access, free and open access to all of the world's information through public libraries. And uh, to see that stripped away is really to see one of the core facets, one of the cornerstones of the idea of America stripped away. Well, it always disappoints me to see books censored in libraries and schools. I happens to my own, my own books. It also happens to a lot of the books that I love the most. Um, you know, I, I believe that some people should not be able to make decisions for all people about what constitutes appropriate content, um, and that you know the responsibility of, of us as individuals and as parents is to make decisions about ourselves and our children, uh, not about other people and their children. Well, my new book, The Fault in Our Stars, just came out 12 days ago, so I'm still pretty focused on that. Um, at some point, I'm sure that I will write another book, but right now, I, I can't think about anything other than this one.